Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently had a chance to see The Corsican Brothers, which is based off of a novel that was written by Alexander Dumas. I didn't know that until I had done a little research on The Corsican Brothers itself. It is a pretty basic forward plot that really doesn't involve a lot of gray matter, but Despite it being predictable, it is hilarious. It's like Mel Brooks and Cheech and Chong's version of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I would equate it to that. It's got probably a lot of cult followers that love it just because it's silly. It's got a lot of really cleverly placed innuendo and double entendre, which is fantastic. And there's not a lot of swearing that's involved, which I also appreciate. So it's it's more about clever, witty humor than something banal and <clears throat> scatological. There's a little bit of that too, but it's it's more it's actually funny. It, it's not crude or anything like that. It's just <laughs> amusing. Um, I'm not really going to go over the plot as of much because, to be honest with you, I don't want to give away any spoilers concerning the film because as far as the film is concerned, it's a solid movie. And Mel Brooks is a writing genius. And in this, it really is um, no surprise that comedy is what he does best. And he excels at that. This is a good example. And... It has a lot of what I miss seeing in a lot of comedic film, which would be Pratt Falls and um, Burlesque. Uh, I should say a, um, a tribute to Burlesque, um, a tribute to vaudeville slapstick, which I absolutely love slapstick. When it's done right, when it's timed correctly, it's absolutely brilliant. And this shines on all chords. Um, I really can't say that much else about the film. Cheech and Chong are just absolutely sensational. They're hilarious. And just to see Cheech Marin as his younger self, I think, oh boy. Hot tamale. Muy caliente. Hoo hoo. Mm hmm. Yeah, I love myself some mustachioed men, but <laughs> I don't know. Just. Men with mustaches. I'm not sure why it's a fetish of mine, but <laughs> it's a fetish of mine. Um, <laughs> Raul Julia. Hmm, need I say more? Um, God rest his soul, but uh, Vincent Price was another. Lord have mercy. Love Vinnie Price. He died, but I could think of a lot of other men with mustaches I really, really, really love. Um... There's not really much to discuss or divulge because I wanted to be up to the viewer of the film. If you're a fan of Cheech and Chong, then yeah. I was kind of sitting on the fence about it thinking, ah, I don't know. And then I absolutely love it, but it's because it takes place in France and it was filmed actually in France, according to the credits. Which, humorously annotates that film somewhere in France at the very end so I thought oh how clever and it's it's just it's a great story and <laughs> it's just it's entertaining if nothing else just seeing Cheech and Chong act like complete and total morons and <laughs> use a lot of physical humor just to get belly laughs it's really quite enjoyable and they're talented they're extremely talented um, it's part of my movie library. I liked it that much. And, um, another one that I recently have come into, well, it, one that has recently come into my interest is a movie with Gene Wilder, who is another one of my favorite comedians of all time. I adore him. I just, I think he was, when he died, it broke my heart, but, um, he was just an absolute master of the comedic pause and just his facial expressions were top notch. No, nobody could do what Wilder did. Um, they don't make them like him. <clears throat> Closest 
representation that I found is uh, Harpo Marx, of course, because he's my favorite of the Harpo of the Marx brothers. Excuse me. Um, but needless to say, Corsican Brothers is a movie that everybody can enjoy. It's a good family film. It teaches an excellent lesson in in all the ridiculousness of it. It, it really does. It, it teaches a very, very important, important lesson that a lot of people don't really hear that much, unless you're watching a sci-fi film, which sci-fi films hammer this into our heads, but family. Yeah, it's always about family and love and um, standing up for what's right and not being ashamed of if you have a gift, especially a gift that's um, paranormal, not not to be um, not to be afraid of it, but to embrace it for what it is. And they show this gift as um, it, it's played for its comedy, but I also like the fact that they are it, it actually it illustrates what this gift is on a very um, basic level that anybody can understand it so it's it's not scary at all so at least to me because I have this gift I had the gift with my my parents I'm not going to say what it is because like I said I, don't, I really don't want to spoil the plot but um, I would give the movie 3.5 because like I said the the plot is a little you know been there done that and but it is fun. It is a really, it's a rollicking good time. It's hilarious. I was laughing throughout, which is really difficult for me to do with comedy. So I think this is going to be one of my favorite comedies. Um, two thumbs way up, of course. That's That goes without saying. Uh, I don't have much else to say about that or my prospects other than things are coming along really nicely. I'm doing really well. And... Um, I couldn't be happier. Things are absolutely terrific, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I'm super excited. So, until next time, live on prosper. Chef Titi.